Right, so in terms of the interviews, again, go back to the natural sciences versus physics thing. So if you do choose to do Cambridge science, you'll be doing natural sciences. You'll be doing interviews in all three sciences, and you may well have a maths interview as well. So that's so when preparing for interviews for Cambridge specifically, for natural sciences, you have to prepare a lot more breadth. Uh, you'll have one interview on each subject. And um, well, how interviews work is they tend to take off on your start with an A-level concept, something you're more familiar with, and they're building it and building it and building it until you can't answer it anymore. The point is that you get to a point in an interview where you haven't been able to answer anything more because they're trying to push you, they're trying to test you. It's how supervision would be. And they want you to be engaged and talk back to them, asking questions and things. So in terms of preparing, I would say the best thing to do would be, it's very similar to preparing for general university physics, it would be to do Olympiad papers, uh, look at past paper questions and line past interview questions, and just basically just know your material inside and out. Um, but how did you prepare? What was your, your main thing? Um, yeah, I basically just did like, uh, there was this book I think called like uh, Povey's Problems in Physics. Yeah, I did that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I did that. that was good. I went, I went, I went, through, I went through that. That's uh, Professor Povey's Problems in Physics. Yeah, yeah, there's two versions. I think I did the newer one, but I think the old one's a bit harder. But okay. Um, then I did like, yeah, Olympian Problems, that sort of thing for preparing. But like, if, you do, if you're going to have an interview, Oxford, usually you're going to have, end up with two interviews in. Uh, the college you apply to or your college you be assigned to and then you're going to have one interview at like a college you pull to okay so um and now now the interviews are they're not going to talk much about your personal statement from what i've seen like it might just be an introductory thing just to get you started but they're not going to focus on that what they're going to focus on they can give you like um yeah as you said just a level, an A level thing, and also something really simple and easy. What like you are getting into yeah, 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 something you're comfortable with, um, with at first, and then they're going to gradually, gradually expand that topic. Yeah, they're going to expand, expand, expand it, and just keep asking you questions, basically, um, just to see how far you get. Yeah. But one thing my tutor told me was like, when he does interviews, he he's also he's not only looking for whether you can actually do it. Oh, it's how you think. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's how you think. It's also whether how, um, if he can work with you, because like that guy that's interviewing you is going to have to, is going to be giving you like tutorials for like the next two, three years at least. Yeah, yeah. So he, he must actually like be are you comfortable. Are you teachable? Yeah. yeah, are you teachable by that guy? Like, can you, so like, I think like asking questions, talking over, just talking to them um, about the problem, whatever, is just like, something really important i think it like it's like as important as working Getting through the, the problem answer, yeah, yeah. interactions so talk through what you're thinking yeah um and in fact you, you mentioned the personal statement yes there's not much emphasis on it but that said first impressions are really important you need to know your personal statement inside and out just yeah. in case they ask you about a book you've read make sure you've read yeah they actually did <laughs> yeah they, um, uh, i had line by line yeah. answers mine. so although they are, they're not going to care too much it's not going to affect whether you're going to get in or not but it will. It could detract. It won't add to your interview, but if you don't know it, they'll think right. This guy's not very prepared. Yeah, but I, um, by any means, I don't mean that they have not read it. Like, believe me, my tutor had read yeah. my thing because by the end of it, he, he, could, he was like, "Yeah, you should be able to do that because you you mentioned, you yeah. mentioned that." I was like, "Okay, fine." Yeah. But you see that those kinds of, like they actually read, they actually read, but it's just um, they might ask you some stuff about it. They will definitely probably will at least yeah, one interview. Yeah. They, they actually will ask you. Something, but it's not going to be the main focus of the interview. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's definitely. not going to be the main focus um, of the interview. Yeah. But in terms of preparing, what I would do, I'd say, on top of the whole Olympiad thing and past paper questions, is just to talk, learn to talk about physics. So maybe ask your teachers if you can do some mock interviews with them and just talk to people who don't know about physics and explain things to them. Try and learn new concepts. And people always say, have a topic to talk about, as in have something you've read about. Now, if you, I think that's true. I think it's nice to have something to talk about. In my interview, for example, he went, right, what do you want to talk about? And I was like, calculus. And the whole interview was on calculus. But that said, you have to be careful. Because some people go, right, I will talk about black holes. And remember, you're a first-year undergrad who has no experience in physics at university. You're not going to be able to talk about that. So if you have got something you want to talk about, make sure it's something actually you could talk about, not something that's going to be a quantum field theory or something you're never going to yeah, have to discuss. Because yeah. they're going to be like, well, what's the point? We can't, we can't talk about this. Yeah. So have something prepared. And also, they often say, you're often told to ask a question at the end of the interview. People say to you, oh, it might be worth asking a question. Don't ask them for the sake of it. Unless you have one. Because at the end of my interview, they went to generally questions. I didn't. I didn't ask, and I still got an offer. You don't have to ask a question if you yeah. don't want to. Like, in my, in my interview, like, my, like uh, I was, like, pretty slow at the start of the interview, but, um, and by the end of it, I finished, like, slightly early, so we was, we, I started chatting yeah. with, with the professor, and by the end of it, like, I ended up giving him, like, a cool 
physics puzzle or whatever why it was and we were working through it so like if you saw if at the end of it you start having a conversation with him like it's just don't thing. be afraid just like yeah. he th th that person probably loves physics as much as you do if not more, more. I presume. yeah so like any physics would be good physics to yeah. talk about just enjoy it as well so like, even if you don't get yeah. it it doesn't go to plan you just had a chance to ch chat like your subject with some of the best guys in the world so that's just a privilege yeah. anyway so you just like enjoy it and make the most out of it and just try not to be as nervous as ner nervous as you know yeah. as you might be i mean it's easier said than done but it yeah. just detracts from the whole thing if you're really nervous and you're and and you're uh, sweating and like you know it's panicking is it they're not they're not going to enjoy the interview if you're looking really scared yeah so try and relax and try and um yeah try and engage there's one 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 like one of the things like you like it's i don't know if it's that is this if it's the case for cambridge or maybe other colleges even even but what we had what i had was like i had my professor there and then i had like another person yeah which was which were like writing something on yeah. paper yeah. like yeah. just don't like don't get when they write something, it just does not mean anything. They just write something. They just write something. That. That's just it. There's no more to it, and you can't even you can't read it into any of that. And yeah. there's no point. The right one's good. The right one's bad. You can't, you can't. You can't tell. What's you what. can't tell. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, For physics interviews, especially like especially just really physics things, like one important thing about physics is doing estimations sometimes. Yeah. Frankly. And like, like yeah, it's it's a good skill to have, like to be able to think in powers of ten, to be able to give quick like make quick estimations of things. Yeah. No, I would say no basic orders of magnitude. Know the magnitude of the universe's yeah. radius. Know how know the radius of an atom or how many electrons you get in this. Yeah. Know your Avogadro is constant. That yeah. kind of thing. Just know that because then when you're right because they. The, the, the typical question is how many planes are there in the sky? I literally got you, that you one. Got that and like, and to be fair, my answer was off by a factor of ten. But like, I think the fact that if you if you get it, if you're doing a calculation by the end of it, you get a number that you know you feel it is just you too think, big. Yeah. yeah, it's too big. It's, it, you it's can fine. Say yeah, it. you can just say it. It's like yeah, you just go like yeah. I think you feel that's too big. I don't know why I don't want to just talk about it with yeah. the person and he just and get you back to do it. Like, but if you want to practice. Uh, estimations questions there's like something called fermi problems yeah yeah, yeah you could do that yeah, yeah. and we also have past over past interview questions online that might be worth looking at and just just to get used to yeah them. it's like a, a, there's a like few two, like and two, like two, sample ones